Weird. No missions. I can do... whatever? Missions cancelled until further notice. <laughs> Whoops. It's a tank of compressed air. Could be useful in an emergency. Yeah, right. Like we have those. It works! Hmm. What's this? It looks like an inflatable raft. I don't think that will help inflate it. Maybe this air tank has enough pressure to blow up this raft. Whoa! It looks like a... blow-up... doll... of me! Creepy. Hopefully, this looks enough like me to fool the Warden. Where's my little angel? Oh, there he is. Oh, I think I almost lost you today. Sleep tight, little hero. Man. Computers are stupid. Whoa! How have I never seen this part of the ship before? You came... because you are done with children's games. Yes. Who are you? My name is Marek, and what I'm about to show you is no game. While you've been drifting through the universe, eating ice cream, playing with trains, war has been raging across the galaxy. War? Between who? Between the forces that every war is between. Between the powerful and the weak, the tyrants and the innocent. But who... Does it even matter? There will always be war. We did not start it, and we cannot stop it. What we can do is protect the weak, and rescue the helpless. Look at this distress signal I just received from a peaceful colony in the Talon Nebula. The helpless creatures you see have been imprisoned by forces of tyranny, and may soon be executed. But... Yes? We... We have to save them. Yes. Yes, we do. I'm pleased you feel as such. We have to go tell the ship's computer. No. You must tell no one on this ship what I have just told you. This ship is programmed with one function. To keep you safe. Yeah, I noticed that. To help these creatures, you will need to put yourself at risk in a way she could never understand. No, you're right. She would never understand. So what can we do? First, we have to get to the Talon Nebula. Take this star chart to the navigation room. I have an earpiece for you to wear, so we can stay in contact. Use that vent to avoid detection. Return immediately after you're successful. But... Quickly, young cub, we don't have much time. Excuse me, Merrick? What are you doing? There's no time to waste. Take that vent to the navigation room and give that star chart to the Space Weaver right now. Ah, the young master has come to play with the Space Weaver. Where shall we go today, wise commander? Oh man, a real mission for once. 
This is so fun. This is serious, Shay. Stay focused. You can hear everything I say? Yes. Please don't say anything embarrassing. Hey, Space Weaver. Let's go somewhere exciting for a change. I have been programmed to take the young master wherever he desires. As long as it is safe and free of conflict. Ah. Bring me a star chart, and the fabric of time and space shall be knit to serve your passage. Come on. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Oh look, it's another Grab and Gary robot. Can't wait to put it in the trash. I mean, my collection. Hey, Space Weaver, can you take me here? That is an easy one for the Space Weaver. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake calipers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Spindle at rotational velocity. Deploying nav scarf in five. Four. Three. Two. One. Another safe voyage brought to you by the Navigation Department. We should be in the Talon Nebula now. Great work, young cub. We're approaching the location of the distress signal now. <gasps> this is worse than I thought. The good news is their captors have left them unguarded for the time being. What can I do? Here, take these controls. You need to lower the shields so the boom arms can be extended. Go on, lower the shields. Good. Now wait until the boom arm is correctly positioned above the subject, then press this to engage. I got it! Great work, Shay. Now the boom arms will haul it in and place it in the auxiliary cargo hold. I should go see if it's okay. No. They must remain in complete quarantine for their own protection. And ours. You mean, our diseases might kill them? You are wise for such a young cub. Now we must save more quickly before their captors return. Use the movement controls to position the ship. When it comes to choosing a creature, you must trust your instincts. Careful. Got another one. Great. Now, just place it in the cargo hold and... Oh no. What is it? Hostile forces have been detected nearby. They're coming in our direction. We need to retreat. Not yet. There's still one more to save. No time. We have to pull out immediately or we'll be destroyed. No! You didn't tell me I'd have to pick who lived and died. You want to be a grown-up? Get used to making tough decisions. No time to mourn. There's another distress signal. This one's from... Danger System 5. Are you up to it? Shay, are you the master of your feelings, or are they the master of you? Give me the star chart. This is the star chart for Danger System 5. Hey, Space Weaver, can you take me here? With pleasure. Preparing 
encryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake calipers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Spindle at rotational velocity. Deploying nav scarf in five. Four. Three. Two. One. By the arms, we have arrived. Okay, we should be in Danger System 5. Are we ever? Take a look at this. You need to lower the shield so the boom arms can be extended. Dang! That's okay, try again. Excellent. Securing subject in cargo hold. Careful. Great work. Don't worry. She won't detect our moving the ship. Good. But hurry, we're running out of time. Go on. Move the ship. Wait for it. Don't wait for it. Okay, that's enough. What do you mean, that's enough? I mean, enemy ships are approaching. I don't see anything. I need to save this last one. You're going to endanger the whole mission to save one creature? Just give me a second. This is a waste of time. There is no need for this. Dang. We Dang. Dang. Enemy ships are getting closer every... Okay, I got it. But something's wrong. Cut it loose. We need to retreat before... Attention. Ship is under attack. What happened? Probably one of the enemy vessels I warned you about, remember? We need to get that last creature. Too late. The ship is retreating under autopilot to a safe location. And we're completely locked out of the controls. How are we going to perform any more rescues? We'll have to find another way to hack into the boom arm controls. And another way to bring the shields down at the right time. And who knows if we'll be able to navigate to the right system now that the ship's on high alert. The ship's computer must be freaking out right now. Oh, yes. <laughs> as soon as the alarm sounded, the first thing she probably did was check on you and your... Shay! Shay! Are you hurt? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Don't worry, sweetie. Um, something attacked the ship, but Mommy's taking care of it. Nothing to worry about, okay? <laughs> oh, so brave. Whew. Better get back to Merrick to hear his plan. Can't sleep. On a mission. Any luck with the ship's controls? No, but we intercepted a new distress signal, this time from Prima Doom. 
How are we going to get control of the ship's cargo boom arms? We'll need to attempt a manual override. The manual boom arm controls are located here. You can get to them through the ship's airlock here. I've hacked the airlock door so you can now open it without alerting the Overmother. How are we going to take down the shields? I have a plan. The shields require so much power, they have a dedicated source. This fusion orb. Take this Omicron inhibitor and place it over the fusion orb. And when the time is right, we'll turn it on and turn off the fusion orb. Along with the ship's shields. Got it. The distress call was from Prima Doom? How do we get there? Same as always. Take this star chart to the Space Weaver and hope for the best. So, how long have you been living in here? I am a recent stowaway. I came because I sensed you were ready. Are you really a wolf? No, I wear this disguise to blend in with your other stuffed animal friends. Weird. So, that's a wolf suit? What are you underneath? I am what I do. A rescuer of creatures in need. Just like you. Why do I have to be the one to choose who to rescue? A boy your age just has good... Instincts for the job. I'd better get back to the mission. Yes. Our window of opportunity won't last forever. The helpless creatures we rescued are being quarantined in there. Wish I could let them out, but it's for their own safety, I guess. Judging by the wolf hair, this must be where Merrick sleeps. The helmet comes off. Ah, my first hazard suit. Kept out Omicron radiation and kept in diaper leaks. That should be for acting, acting like I cared about the stupid missions on this ship. As soon as we get full control of this ship, I'm going to burn this stuff. Teleporter, activate. May I teleport you to the Nexus? I don't see how that would make this helmet bigger, or my head smaller, for that matter. This is the star chart for Prima Doom. Ah, my first hazard suit. Kept out Omicron radiation, and kept in diaper leaks. This is the star chart for Prima Doom. We need to go here right away. Prima Doom! Negative. That system is forbidden due to likelihood of hostile activity. But it's an emergency! Sometimes, safety is the most exciting adventure of all. Might I suggest somewhere safer? Like Puppy Planetoid, Cozy Cluster, or maybe somewhere in the Smile system? No way! I have to go to Prima Doom right now. Lives depend on it. I'm sorry, young master, but my programming won't allow it.
Forget it. If we can't go to Prima Doom, I don't want to go anywhere. Please don't be angry, young sir. If I could override this directive, I most certainly would. Son, I'm not sure it's safe enough for you to leave your room. I'm tired of being a prisoner in my room. I'm sick of being a prisoner on this ship. I know, son. I know it's hard. You've given up so much. Listen, I'd like to tell you a story. A story of another person your age. A young girl. She wanted to live a normal life, but she was chosen. She was honored with a special duty. Some people would call it a sacrifice. But what she didn't realize at the time was that it was a great honor. Please. I've heard the story of the Sacrifice Girl a million times. I know the ending. The Sacrifice Girl is you, right? What I'm trying to tell you is that I made a hard choice, but I regret nothing because... Great story, computer. I'm sorry they programmed you with someone's sad memories, but I have to go. You know the truth deep down, son. And I know you'll appreciate my words someday. Uh-huh. Brother.